Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to Minecraft that started with no blocks. If you guys have missed out on any, like always, you can check out the playlist, get caught up on those you have not yet seen. We've got a lot of blocks here now on the Void Hero map. We have a full house, we have, we have lots of things. Uh, but anyway, first order of business. Let's go ahead and add somebody to the wall of commenters. All right, so this was a tough one. You guys left a lot of really good comments. Keep it up because you can always get yourself a chance to be added to the commenter garden. But the person I am adding today is going to be Professor Jung. And they left a comment saying, Vibe of 2015 Minecraft. And that is awesome. I love that because that is the style of Minecraft that I really enjoy. There's a lot of this modern, fast-paced, shorts kind of content that is going on now. And also like the super duper edited, like you have to have a team of people editing your Minecraft video. And uh, what I like to do, I like to just sit down, play Minecraft, talk about it, talk about stuff, and you record it and put those videos up. You know, I cut a little bit here and there, but I don't do any like crazy super editing, but yeah. So I appreciate that a comment. Let's go ahead and add your name here. I probably should put it on a second line, right? Professor Jung. Thank you very much, and you shall live forever here in the comment garden. Oh, look, we have a friend. <laughs> well, what's up, buddy? You want to live in the comment garden, too? That's pretty That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But anyways, if you would like to get added to the comment garden, all you gotta do, leave a good comment down below. I will look through them, and we will add somebody each episode to the garden here. But uh, yeah, we're also going to add a new section to the garden. We're gonna call this the member zone. Uh, because if you didn't know, for only 99 cents a month, you could become a member. And it gives you a bunch of cool perks, like access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. You could join that whenever you want, whether you're Bedrock, Java, or with me when I stream it. We are going to be starting up on a Season 3 here very soon. Looking forward to it. Once uh, Minecraft 1.21 comes out. But anyways, let's add somebody in here also. All right, so we're gonna be reaching back to the oldest member that we have, the longest running member, which is, I'm sure they already know who they are, Captain Arthur. Oh, oh fudge, oh fudge, I'm under attack. This is the first, I've, I've not seen anything spawn here. Good God, perfect timing. <laughs> I, I've been lighting things up like crazy. I didn't think that things would spawn here. Where did he come from? You're ruining Captain Arthur's day. Bam. Captain Arthur, thanks for being a member. 12 months. Much appreciated, buddy. You are awesome for that. And also a member on the uh, other channel, too, which is something you could also check out if you'd like to. The main channel. But anyways, as for today, what we are going to be doing. Well, I just took out a monster, which um, is something I did at the end of last episode. Oh, I added a little bit of decoration here, too. I didn't even show you guys what I've done so far. Let me get a, let me get a nap here. So yeah, I added a little a little flower here. It looks looks kind of nice. I had a flower pot from the witch's hut. Um, what I've done, I kind of went ahead and expanded this out. Where are you coming from? Nice. Did you give me? Oh, nice. I got more of the the things. Um, so yeah, I kind of expanded this out and added a chest and like trees here because um, we now have this guy. He's selling me. Uh, or he's buying sticks from me and giving me emeralds. So, like, super good deal. He's he's a great dude. Um, so, yeah, I'm chopping a lot of trees. I expanded this out so I could plant a lot of trees. I also kind of did a little bit of expansion, you know, just trying to get some more dirt and stuff, too. So I threw a bunch more of the uh, grave the grave ones. But, uh, anyway, as for today, you notice I grabbed the, um, the cave fragments because I want to get iron. If I can get iron, then I can go ahead and get this area cleaned up, get this water out of here. And flatten this out a bit more I can uh, make a mob spawner and that way we can get even more cave fragments we're gonna see what we're gonna get from it we're gonna go ahead and throw that here in just one moment and another thing we're gonna do we're gonna expand on the village we're gonna go ahead and throw a village fragment too yeah getting some more villagers is gonna be nice we can get a lot of money actually let me show you I've, I've actually made some money I've got a stack and ten emeralds that's just from trading with this one stick guy so i kind of expanded this out a little bit more too so that way i can throw another village fragment right over here hopefully we get another good village villager to trade with but anyways let's go ahead and try out this cave fragment so we've expanded this way i'm gonna throw this out this way and hopefully it doesn't fudge things up and hopefully it's good oh 
Ooh, nice. Sick, dude. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, we made an advancement, too. It's been a while since we've done one of those. Uh, spelunking. And see this one. Use an ocean fragment obtained from... Oh, fishing. Or a water mob. Okay. So, that is, uh, that is something I could have done before this, I guess. But I think that getting the iron is going to make that easier, right? Because we're going to be able to make the mob farm. So, we should get spiders, perhaps, right? Nice, we're getting some iron. That's what you like to see. I only got one bit. I need... Ooh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, it's uh, cave spiders. Okay. Not so great. I'm gonna... This torches... Torches works on this, right? Well, we did get string from this, though. So this is pretty good. I'm not sure if torches actually stop the spawning. But we're getting a lot of string from all these cobwebs. So I can make a fishing rod. I could do some fishing now. Good thing I had a backup sword. I can't believe I thought that far ahead to have a backup sword. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh no, I'm pushing this off. This has an iron pickaxe. Very nice. Very freaking nice. A lot of good stuff here. Glowberries, iron pickaxe. Perfect. I'd like to kind of maybe save this as well. Like this uh, minecart chest. That might be handy, right? Go back. Oh, don't go. Oh, you're going crazy. You're going bonkers now. You need to chill your buns out. Um, yeah, can I just, like, break this? Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. And uh, the rails and stuff. We got some coal. We finally got regular coal. I'm going to have to throw another one of these. See what comes of it. So what we get? Two bits of iron, I think. So we'll definitely... We'll need another. Because we're going to need a, we're gonna need more than uh, two bits of iron. We're going to need... At least need three. These chains are nice. These are going to be uh, good decoration. I can maybe make some lanterns once we get, like more set on iron yeah we can have some like hanging lanterns and stuff it's gonna be sick oh there is actually i think a mob must have died down there somewhere i see another one of the uh, fragments i'm gonna try and get to that because getting more of these fragments seems like it's gonna be a good thing so yeah i kind of i threw what did i throw i threw something and it turned into this like it just had this big spiraling staircase it was like a vex or something that just flew away and turned into this big spiraling staircase Maybe the mobs came from here. I've been, like, lighting this up as I went down it, but they could have still, I suppose, spawned down here somewhere. Yeah, this is funky. I don't know I don't know what, what happened. I kind of wish I was recording so you guys could have seen it, but it is what it is. I had to do the off-camera stuff. You know what I'm saying? Was that a slime? I think a slime just fell from somewhere. Anyways, cave fragment. Super handy. Let's go throw another one. Let's try and get that bit more iron. I think it's probably a good idea to just keep it kind of expanding this way down here, maybe. Like, just throw it out over here. I'm going to get rid of these first, though. I may need these. Let's go for it. Ooh, okay. What do we get here? Oh, okay. This stuff is good. If we get... Oh, you know what? We can actually reproduce lava now with this. That's pretty big. Ooh, and a, another bit of iron. That's also super good. We're going to need that iron. Nice. I, I'm so glad I didn't lose it. There's a bit more down here. Is there a good way I can get at it? Let's try and like throw a block down there. There we go. That's the way. Thank you, uh, stalactite or stalagmite. I don't know which one you are. <laughs> which which way does it go actually? One's from the ground. One's from you know above. But I don't I don't actually know which one's which. A bit more iron. And so now we can make a bucket. Oh, we have a piece of iron. Where did that come from? I don't actually know where that came from. But anyways, we have it. So we have uh, enough iron to make the bucket. We can go ahead and make the mob farm. So I think that's going to be my next plan here. I kind of want to see if it's going to work out well. Sometimes you make them and they don't really uh, end up spawning a whole lot of stuff. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. On an island like this, there's nowhere else for them to spawn really. Except for there kind of is. They're spawning somewhere and I don't know where that would be. But generally, there's not anywhere else for them to spawn. So they have to spawn in your mob spawner. And so I uh, usually get a lot of spawns, but we will see uh, today if that's if that's the case here. Alrighty, my iron has been smelted. Let's go ahead and make a bucket. Very nice. We don't need to make a pickaxe because we already got one. Uh, I could use a few more torches. Uh, but anyway, I think I have everything I need to go ahead and try and build this mob farm. Let's see if this thing's going to work out. And I'm going to go ahead and build it over here. We don't have much going on like in this area right here. It's kind of a bad, snowy crappy area you know like nobody likes this area that much so we'll go ahead and we'll build out here so i'm going to do the same kind of design i generally do i think it it usually works out all right 
kind of depends, I guess, if, um, it kind of depends, like, if there's other areas where things can spawn, but usually it's pretty good. So we're gonna, we've got, this is gonna be the tube here. Actually, let's go back one more, I think. Yeah, we'll go back to here. And then this will be, this will be the tube, like this. Because you gotta have an area where you can walk up and kill them, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's gonna be the top here. We're gonna go by ten blocks. You just kind of want them to fall down to where they get hurt, and then you can take them out with your sword at the bottom. Making a ladder up so I can get up there to finish up the top bit. But we're gonna go ahead and build the rest of this up. Yeah, so see, you want to have, like, uh, an opening like that down here. Um, and actually, I kind of want to be one lower, I think, too. Let's see here. Yeah, we want to be down on this level, so that way we're hitting their feet. They can't see us, you know, but we can see them. Kind of something like this. You can even put, like, slabs here, so that way, you know, you're, you're definitely safe. Put a torch down for now, because we don't want nothing uh, spawning yet. Dude, pig, you're getting awfully close to that lava. You better chill, bro. Just go back to the garden where it's safe. All right, he's, he's listening. He's actually being good. That's good. We got a smart pig on our hands here. <laughs> That's a good thing. Alrighty, so we've reached the top. So now what we need to do is build, like I always do, the, um, the pillars coming out by, I think, eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe that's how far water can travel. I've done this a bunch of times, and I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but we'll go ahead and we'll fill in the walls here and we'll make sure just to just to be sure you know all right so there's one of the mob funneling tubes let's go ahead and throw a torch down let's go grab the water let's throw another torch down because we want to be extra careful I don't want a creeper up here that blows up all my hard work let's grab a bouquet of water we still have an infinite water source here we're gonna go ahead and make one up top here but first let's see if that flows does that flow yes I got it perfect very nice all right so then we go ahead and block this off, get another bucket of water, and then we don't have to go down there anymore. We're good. Now we have our infinite water up top here, and we're gonna be we're gonna be chilling. All right, so now I just have to repeat this on all the sides. All right, now so with all the tubes done, now we just need to build in these platforms because this is gonna be where the mobs actually spawn. And uh, by the way, if you're gonna do this, I always just do it out of full blocks because. Slabs can like let light through sometimes and so like if you do slabs to try and save resources You're probably gonna end up with it let, letting light through and it may not work very well So definitely just something to, to think about Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and build out all of these platforms and then we'll be good to go on the next step Okay, I think the pig wants to get into the house I've tried to let him in when he first popped up in the in the island here I wanted to let him in and he refused so, uh, I don't know what to tell you, Pig. You wouldn't go in there before, so I don't know that I can let you in now. Drop some comments down below if you want to see this pig with a name. But <laughs> don't count on him surviving too long, because he does like to go by the lava. He may he may turn out just to just be a pork chop for me, but uh, let me know down below anyways if you'd like to drop some name suggestions for that guy. He's been my only friend here on the island so far. Alrighty, so all the spawning platforms done. Let's go ahead and build up the walls. I'm thinking this time I'm only going to go up two blocks with it because we don't need Endermen spawning in here. That really doesn't help any because they're not going to go into the water and fall down the tube and get taken out anyway. You know what I mean? So really there's like no point in uh, having them be able to spawn. So we're just going to do two high. That should allow everything, creepers, zombies, skeletons, that should be all of that able to spawn in here. And also that will save me on blocks because this is very block intensive making one of these. It takes a lot of blocks. All right, so there's the walls. Now we just need to ceiling it up. And uh, I'm actually going to go up top to do that because we are also going to want to torch this up up top here because we don't want mobs spawning on the roof. That doesn't help us at all. So we want to make sure we have enough light up here as well. This is always the worst part of the whole build is doing the ceiling. It just takes so many blocks. I've already had to go chop down more trees. And I had started with a lot of blocks already. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go do it again too before we finish this up. It just takes so many. Actually, we might just about make it. We might have just enough to finish this. 
I'm thinking. If I don't keep placing them like a dingus, then we might be all right. Dang it, and I broke my axe. Now I really can't place them like a dingus. Fudge monkeys. All right, well, that's it. That's the top done. Hopefully, I have enough light up here for them to not spawn up here. Maybe we can, like, put one of these more central. Take this. Put it more over here, something like that. I don't know. I Maybe I could use more torches or something, but I think it should be all right. All right, so we're going to seal it up. It's a little tight in here, but that's how it's supposed to be. The mobs don't need to be comfortable because they're, you know, they're going to their doom anyway. So now we just fill in all of the water all around here like so. And we're going to we're gonna have to do some hand block breaking because I don't have an axe anymore. But there is that. That is, that's it. Now the mobs will spawn up here. They'll wander into the water. They'll get pushed. They'll go down the tube and I'll be waiting at the bottom. So, let's break all the torches, and let's quickly get out of here and see if it works. Fingers crossed. Even if it's not, like, super efficient, if it just, like, at least lets mobs spawn, you know, to where I can take them out. Now I gotta break ladders, too. Gosh darn it. Last torch broken, and we block this up so we're not in danger, and I should get some slabs, too, to put there so that way it's even better, but... Let's see if it works. I'm going to go away. I'm going to go home. It's, it's always just such a monstrosity. Every time I build it, it's like it works very well, but it just looks so horrible. Let's go have a bit of a nap and see if we got any mobs in the morning. It's a nice thing about having your floor being barrels. Like if I want to sort out my inventory in the morning, bam, check it out. I can just like go through my floor and sort my things out. What up, unnamed uh, pig? Hopefully somebody will drop a name for you. Look at it. It works. Oh, there's one thing I'm forgetting. I do need a way to collect the items. I always forget about this, but it works. For now, I can collect them that way. It's it's a bit dangerous. Uh, I'm gonna get an axe, and we can like break one block, run in, grab the stuff. <laughs> it's it's not the it's not the best method, but it, I mean it does work until I get like some redstone. Because once I have redstone and I can make like a piston. Then I can uh, have it so it has water that I can flip a lever and let the water flow. I guess we could kind of, we can come under this little canopy here. So that way we're a little closer. We can gather the stuff, you know. Oh, that was a close one. It is it's it is dangerous though. Like, I'm so close to these mobs that could so easily destroy me. Destroy all the work I've done. Oh, like that. That one was about to go. See, I'm trying to get in here and get the stuff and get out. It's a dangerous, dangerous way to go about this, but it's what we've got, you know? Oh, fudge! Oh, fudge! <laughs> oh, no, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. You need to chill your buns out. Okay, so we're going to build a block like this. Get in here, we get the stuff, and we get out. All right, I mean, it, it works. Like I said, kind of a dangerous method, but it's what we've got. <laughs> For the time being, at least. You'll see, I'm sure you'll see me blow this thing up. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same on this side too, though, just because I want to be able to, yeah, grab from either side. But yeah, look at all the stuff we got. We're getting gunpowder, a slime ball. We're getting these cave fragments, so I can get a lot more caves going. All right, so my next maneuver, we have the bucket. We can go ahead and fix our farm up. Actually, I need some, we have some dirt somewhere. Yeah, I have a bit of dirt, so we're gonna need that. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fix this area up. We have, yeah, we have infinite water here. So I can go ahead and get rid of this water. We're gonna get rid of all the plants for now. We're gonna get rid of this water. We're gonna do some flattening here. And this too, I'll have to move my, uh, have to move my cobble generator, but that's easy enough. With the bucket, we grab a lava, we can rebuild it somewhere else. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and just like kind of fill this area up. So we clear out all the water. Bam, like so, and then we dig all the dirt. Yo, check it out, this thing is actually kind of efficient. Not too shabby. Look at all the good stuff we're gonna get. Alrighty, so there's that. We have this area cleared up now. Now I'm thinking, Am I going to want to leave space for this garden to expand if it needs to? Or should I just kind of keep the farm where it was here? Just like make it a flat area here and have the farm be here still? That is the question. 
I'm thinking I am gonna I like having the farm right in front of my house like it's kind of nice you know easy access so I think I, I might just kind of keep the farm here I'm just gonna build a little bit of a platform underneath and then we'll put the dirt on top so that way we have water that doesn't like flow out all the way down to the bottom we'll leave like a two block gap still here a walkway through here and a walkway through over here like so but then we'll have farmage out here so our water source will be right here right in the middle like that so then we can have four blocks on either side like that and that leaves us our two block gap here so we can walk through here still and what I'm gonna do whoa no that's not what I wanted to do <laughs> oh nice I spawn up on top of my mob farm that's great <laughs> Fantastic. Catch me, pig. I'm coming down. You didn't you didn't catch me. Just just know, I would have caught you. If if the roles were reversed here, I would have caught you, alright? You dingus. Uh but anyways, yeah, I was trying to get more dirt, but it looks like I might not be able to do that. I was thinking like if I kind of only have this be one block here. A one block hill. Something like that. I don't know. I'm trying to make like each side kind of match up a little better. I think in doing that, I'm wasting more dirt than I'm actually, like, saving. <laughs> Anyways, we can always just, like, fill this out as we go, though, too. So. so there's our four on this side. We can fill this whole block in here. Yeah, we can always, and we can, we, can we do anything with this? No, we can't. I say, can we turn that into regular dirt? But unfortunately, nah. So we have that side, and then we can uh, kind of do this side, too, I believe. And we'll have to do a bit more dirt gathering. We have, we have some good farmage now. Torch it up a little bit. Very nice, things are looking a little bit more like organized here. We do still have this monstrosity in the background, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> we can't, you can't help it all, you know? You gotta, you gotta do what you can do. So we're gonna go ahead and cover this water with a slab so we can throw a torch on in the middle. Uh, we can see how far we can go this way. So we got one, uh, two three four so it's gonna actually kind of go right up to this we'll cover this stuff up we'll just have to like i guess we, we could just have it like that right up to the mob farm it's not too bad we got all these mobs god dang this thing is efficient for once i have an efficient mob spawner it's so good it's so nice and so oh they drop slime balls are this, they actually slime balls or are they something different i'm wondering Temple fragments. Oh, okay. I was just kind of like throwing them in a chest like eh, whatever these things are I don't know, but no, they're temple fragments. That's actually pretty good We'll see what that actually I actually don't know what that does, but hopefully it does something good We'll throw a few torches on here too. just add a little bit of extra light Like I said if you guys think that this farm should move also like we can always do that. That's it's minecraft You know things can always be changed like I always say this is just for now I want to get more farming because we are going to go ahead and add in a new villager today. Let's go ahead and uh, do that now. All right, so we've got this area out here where I've expanded. We're gonna try and throw a, a villager fragment out here and see what happens. Hopefully good things. Oh, it kind of went down. I didn't want it to go down. Um, fudge monkeys, that's not so good. I need, to, I need to fix this. Oh no, I don't want him to walk out his door and fall into the void. <laughs> Please don't do that, my friend. You're gonna be my new my new pal. You're gonna be my new trader. We're gonna have lots of commerce. We're gonna have lots of money exchanging hands here. We can't have you falling to the void. All right, so let's kind of go ahead and get him, make sure he's gonna be trapped in here. Like, let's throw these up there so that we know for a fact he's not gonna be able to get out. I'm actually gonna go get a couple more slabberinos. Actually, no, these are stairs. I'm gonna get rid of you. I'm sorry, dude. I'm breaking your house because I don't like these stairs here. They're they're in my way. All right. I know you just arrived. You don't even know me, but I don't like the way your house is set up. So I'm fixing it for you. <laughs> That's the way things work, right? It's not so bad, right? I mean, it's a little bit more realistic, like having the uh, the village houses on separate floors, kind of like you know having different levels. Because like in the real world, things aren't always on the same level. You know, you're not just having a big flat space of blocks. So you know, it, it kind of, it's all right. I'm going to fix the other side of his house, too. I'm going to, like, break those stairs, too. But for now, it's just, like, my main goal, get this place safe. I don't want any any problems here. 
we'll have like a step village. Like as we're going, the village will slowly step its way down. Cause I think every time I do this, I'm probably gonna end up making it lower and lower. All right, now, now that we've brought this guy in out of you know nowhere and uh, started fudging up his house and brought him into this area where there's just like a whole bunch of void and things are kind of crazy. Let's go say hi to him. <laughs> oh wait, I can't open, okay, I can open door. What's up, buddy? Oh my God, what are you doing? Holy frig, you idiot. Dude, you were just gonna live with a hole to the void in your house like that? Are you bonkers in the head? Dude, this guy must be bonkers in the head if he was... He literally just... A hole to the void. What would have happened? God dang, you're lucky I showed up, my friend. There we go. Uh, is that going to be bad? Is that going to kill him? I'm going to go ahead and... You're not going to have a bed anymore. I'm sorry, friend. And also this, like... This is now mine. Your things are now mine, so... Don't... No, don't stand on it. This is mine now. I'm reclaiming... I, I brought you here, you know, I brought you into this world. <laughs> so I get to take all your stuff. That's how this works here, okay? So chill. Have a light. Now you, you are you are going to trade with me. Whether you like it or you don't. Commerce is coming to Minecraft, whether you like it or you don't. So I'm thinking with this guy, let's see, how do we make this? Composter. You need, oh, just a bunch of uh, slabberinos. So... We can actually do that. Easy peasy. Composter. I'm thinking this guy, we make him the farmer because I've got so much farm. You know, I've got like all this wheat. And maybe with like killing these mobs, I'll finally get like a carrot or something. That'd be nice for my pig buddy. We get some carrots growing, then I can feed my, my friend, my pig. My pal, my unnamed pal. Remember, drop a, drop a name suggestion down below. You may end up in the, the comment garden by having a name suggestion and also, um, yeah, having a comment. Like it's kind of a two, a double reason, you know, that you could end up in there. And I'm wondering, do these guys maybe they don't actually drop carrots because they have all these other funky drops, you know? Oh no! Oh butts! At least it was you and not somebody else. Holy frig! <laughs> yeah, I need to fix that too. I need to maybe see about getting some redstone. Oh, he's going in! He's going in the house! Come on! You can do it. You can do it, buddy. Be my pet pig. Yes. Frig yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> now I don't have to worry about you anymore. You're safe. Well, we're getting a ton of cave fragments, so I'm thinking I can, uh, between episodes, probably throw a bunch of those, see what kind of resources I'm going to get. Maybe I'm going to get, like, other stuff, diamonds, redstone, stuff like that, and that'll be uh, very handy, especially when it comes to... Um, you know, fixing my mob farm, so that way we don't have to go in there and have danger all the time. Um, also, I should fix this. Let's go ahead and grab a bucket of lava, and let's just get rid of this now, because I can have infinite lava. I actually have more lava there, too, but now I'm going to get infinite lava. I can make uh, my cobblestone generator in a better place, so it's not just kind of clogging up this area, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, things are going to get a little bit more organized around here now. The bucket, it's crazy how the bucket does so much for getting your place kind of fixed up. I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this wheat I've been gathering. We're going to make this guy into my farmer friend. And we're going to do a trade, get him locked on in. His house looks funky because I broke I broke his stairs. But you know what? He's He ain't complaining. He's fine. He likes it here. He doesn't have a bed to worry about. He doesn't have a hole to the void in his house. Like... He's kind of chilling, you know? Come on. You really, you're going to do this to me? You're going to not become a wheat trader? Dude. Dude, I don't have, all I have is wheat. There we go. He's done it. He's finally done it. And, uh, yeah, we have another source. And he's actually got carrots, too. So if I do get carrots at some point, we have that as another trade to uh, unlock. I'm probably going to get comments about my treatment of the villagers. They're fine. They, they enjoy it. It's what they were made for, you know? Yeah, we can, I'm going to expand this wheat farm out. You know, I'm going to get more more wheat growing. I'm going to throw some cave fragments. Hopefully, oh, what is that? Glow squidding? Um, yeah, throw some more cave fragments. Hopefully try and get some more uh, different items, different types of ores. Ooh, I broke my sword finally. That took quite a bit. Whoa, no, 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 no. 
That got sketchy. But uh, yeah, I think that just about does it for today's episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. That helps me out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Turn on the notifications so you're not going to miss out on future streams or videos. Join the Discord so you can come by and chat. And also, if you want to help support the channel, it's only 99 cents to become a member. And you'll get a bunch of cool perks. You'll get access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server, which will be starting up with Season 3 here as soon as Minecraft 1.21 comes out. You'll also get emojis you can use in the chat if you pop by live streams. You can also use them in comments, stuff like that. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. And one other thing I forgot. Merch. Get merch. Link down below. <laughs> Hats and shirts. Hats and shirts.